Hello, my name is Amanda B. Johnson. Thank you for joining me. If you're watching this video, you've likely either received a paper wallet or you're interested in just learning how to get started with a digital currency like Dash. Whatever the reason, today I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to first download your own wallet, second, learn how to send and receive funds from it, and third, how to back it up. A wallet can live on either your phone or your computer, and today we're going to use a phone. First, with your phone in hand, navigate to your App Store. Either the iOS or Google Play stores will work. Search for the JAX blockchain wallet and install it. While it's installing, allow me to tell you a little bit about what this wallet is for. It serves two functions. One, to store your private key, which looks something like this but can also be represented as something like this, more on that later, and its second function is to display your public address, which looks something like this. During installation, tell the Jax wallet you'd like an Express setup and select Dash from the list of available coins. Once the wallet's open, make sure the tab on top says DSH, that's for Dash, and hey, there's your public address and the QR code that corresponds to it. Step two, learning how to send and receive funds from this wallet. There are three primary ways that you can receive funds to this wallet. A, by having someone scan your QR code. B, by scanning a paper wallet yourself. And C, by giving out your public address and telling others to send the funds there. Allow me to demonstrate each. To receive funds in person, simply allow the sender to scan your wallet's QR code with her phone. She'll then select how much she'd like to send to you, either in Dash or converted into the local currency exchange rate, and voila, your phone will receive the broadcast within seconds. Now I'll demonstrate option B, how to sweep funds from a paper wallet. Tap the button in the upper right-hand portion of the screen to see a drop-down menu. From there, select Tools. Then select Transfer Paper Wallet. And finally, select Transfer Dash Paper Wallet. Click the tiny image of a camera to engage your phone's ability to scan a QR code. Hover the camera above the paper wallet's private key QR code, and presto, the funds will be swept into your wallet. Now see how to receive funds by sharing your public address. You'd use this option most often when buying digital currency online, for example, from an exchange or a broker. Simply copy the long public address from your wallet and paste it into the send to or withdraw to box on the web service that you're using to buy your digital currency. When the service sends the funds to that address, they'll show up in your wallet. And lastly, step three, back up the wallet. What you'll be backing up is your private key that I had mentioned earlier. Reason being, if you lose or break your phone, you can still retrieve your funds by installing a new wallet on a new device and importing your backup. Tap the icon in the upper right-hand corner again, and once again, select Tools. Then select Backup Wallet, and finally, View Backup Phrase. Remember how I said your private key could also be represented as words? Your wallet will now display your very own unique string of words that represent your funds and your funds alone. Write these down on a piece of paper and store them in a safe, private place because anyone who has access to these words has access to your funds. And that's it. You now know how to open a wallet, how to send and receive funds, and how to back up your wallet in case of loss or destruction of your phone. Visit Dash.org to learn all the different ways that you can buy and spend Dash, and feel free to peruse this YouTube channel for more educational resources. I'm Amanda B. Johnson. Thank you for watching.